many of you have asked to make a video like So after some consideration, that's what I've picked. Today we are looking into some cool lines from Only Murders in the Building. Without further ado, workshop this with me. This series follows three strangers, Charles, Oliver and Mabel. Do you like your beats? I had a yellow pair. I just loved them so much. And then, like an idiot, I leave them on the subway. Do you like your beats? Beats is slang for overpriced headphones. Teenagers wear beats to look cool. That's how their friendship starts. Come over. Yeah. Sit down. Half the building's in here. I'm Oliver, by the way. Oliver Putnam. Charles. Charles Hayden Savage. Hey, I'm Mabel. <laughs> no, really. What is... Oh, a great old school name. Get out. Get out of here is an exclamation expressing surprise and disbelief. You're not telling someone to literally get out. Mabel can't believe the three of them have a laugh for true crime podcasts. Let's take a look at some examples. Get out of here. You're lying. Get out of here. It's hard to believe. Some other ways to show surprise or disbelief would be Are you serious? You're kidding me. No way. In the next scene, Oliver asks his son for money. Again. Which the son does not appreciate at all. So, well, I'm going to need to... Uh, um... You know, I, I, I really did not want this to become a regular thing, but I am strapped. Dad. I really didn't want this to become a regular thing, but I'm strapped. To be strapped up, to be strapped for cash is to be short of money without any at the moment. Broke. He's constantly strapped for cash. Can you lend me 10 bucks? I'm strapped. In the following scene, they attend a memorial and they see a lot of people there. Wow, good turnout. I don't know any of these people. A turnout is a number of people attending or taking part in an event. Here are some adjectives frequently used with turn out. To describe few people, you can use a disappointing, low, poor turnout. The first show had a very poor turnout. The turnout for the concert was unusually low. To say that many people have shown up, use big. Excellent, fantastic, good, great, high, huge, impressive, large or massive turnout. We're expecting a massive turnout, so book your tickets now. The movie attracted a huge turnout. And that's what happens when you don't pay the bills in time. Oliver, can I speak with you? Oh, of course, Bun Bun. First of all, let me say, you look fantastic. You gotta give me the name of your guy, because you look like a damn kid. Your building fees are eight months past due. This is your final notice before the board will be forced to take drastic action. Listen, bunny. When the bills or fees are past due, they are being paid late. That can lead to you being evicted. Evicted means kicked out of the house by a landlord. When you don't understand something and you want someone to explain it to you, say... Whoa, wait, 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 wait. I am wait. so lost here. Could someone please fill me in? Unless it's boring, and then don't. I'm so lost. Can someone please fill me in? Oliver has no idea what's going on. He wants someone to explain what is happening. I'm lost a bit. What do you mean? I miss the meeting. Can you fill me in? And that's how you get what you want. And I look across a room and I see this beautiful woman totally out of my league. And I figure, if I've got a shot, I gotta go all in. I figure means I think. I've got a shot means I have a chance. 
go all in is to be totally committed. So Oliver understood that if he had a chance, he had to do everything possible to make sure he got this woman to be his wife. Next one is good. Check it out. Ha! Lean in for the nugget, folks. Are you ready for the nugget? Lean in for the nugget, Fox. Nugget is a particular or singular thing that someone has written or said, which is especially wise or informative. Lean in is to shift your body weight forward or toward someone or something. Lean in for a nugget. English is easy. Stop learning it and start using it as a tool. In the following scene, they don't want to attract attention. Let's see if they are good at sneaking around. Very inconspicuous. We blend in by standing out. Very inconspicuous. We blend in by standing out. By saying very inconspicuous, he's being ironic, obviously, because inconspicuous means not clearly visible or attracting attention, which is not the case. She tried to look as inconspicuous as possible not to attract unwanted attention. To blend in is to look or seem the same as surrounding people or things, and hence not to be easily noticeable. We try to blend into the crowd. And to stand out is the opposite of blend in. It means to be very noticeable or much better than others. Stand out from the crowd and be yourself. Be as authentic as, say, Oliver. Brain freeze! Oh, 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 oh. Use your thumb and press the top of your thumb. Oh my god. Okay. Like uh -huh. mm. Mm. Oh my god. Tie-dye guy is a genius. Brain freeze is a brief but intense pain in the front part of your head. It occurs when you eat, drink, or breathe something extremely cold, like an ice cream. To make brain freeze go away, press your tongue or the thumb against the root of your mouth to transfer worms. Let's watch another one. Here I want you to notice how many times they agree with each other in just a one minute dialogue. We got yelled at by a mom. I know. I'm shook. Mabel taught me that word. Mm, same. You know, it's a law of nature. Nothing good ever happens on Long Island. <sighs> Gut milk is really good. Right? I think it's giving me abs. 13% alcohol. Mm. Cheers. Hey, we had a good run. But we can't possibly go on. Fully agree. And why is that exactly? I know. Same. Fully agree. It's important to express understanding and agreement while having conversations. To learn more phrases, check this out. The couple in the following scene are having an argument about their soon-to-be-born son's name. Keith. Oh, yes. You know, it's not quite... Frame. Yeah, it's not. But it's also not lame as fuck. I could dig it. Okay. Keith, thank you. I could dig it. To dig it is a slang phrase which means to understand, approve, or enjoy something. I want to go to the movies and watch Avatar. I could dig it. Have you ever been thinking or worrying about something? Have you ever been so distracted with something that you couldn't think about anything else? Well, that's how you can describe it. Thanks for finally answering my text. Sorry, I've been a little preoccupied and minorly traumatized. Huh? I've been a little preoccupied. To be preoccupied is to be thinking or worrying about something too much, to be busy to notice other things. She seemed preoccupied all the time I was talking to her. I've been too preoccupied with work lately. If you dig this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep more videos appearing on my channel. Cheers!